Hello everyone, welcome to Philosophy of Religion. Philosophy of Religion is an interdisciplinary field. It includes things like history, ancient history, scriptural interpretations, um, biblical studies, um, religious studies, theology, science. The two that we are going to focus on though, however, obviously are going to be religion in particular and philosophy and the philosophical analysis of religious ideas. Religion, however, tends to start with an experience. We exist in the world. We have the world, the things that we know around us, and then we have the things that are mysterious to us. And even the things closest to us are can be even more mysterious than that around us. But it seems like we are stand in awe of our dependence on the world. This awe inspires us to talk to other people about it right this religious experience and you know throughout history people have done that and then what they do after that is they you know do some writing they send some letters to their friends about this they tell what they experienced and you know and these are read now it's important to know that these people have uh an interpretation of these letters and these and these uh, uh books but it's even more important for us to understand that these ancient documents, right, were written at a different time by different people in a different language. And there's a study called hermeneutics that helps us to understand what these documents were talking about. So hermeneutics is a study of interpretation of media. Now, if we, we try to get in the head of an ancient not only do they have no idea of any of the technology or the words that we use, but they have a completely different culture than we do too. And so while at the same time back in say the first century when say Christianity was being developed and written about, they had different inter interpretations of what say St. Paul wrote or whatever, we have even a larger gap. And so we had to try to get in the head of the, uh, the data Philosophy of religion, then, is philosophical thinking about religion, right, and religious concepts. But in order to understand that, you need to understand the religious concepts. Once people get these documents, reading them, interpreting them, start thinking about them, and then they meet together and they discuss it. What is important from what these people were trying to tell us? And they come out of these, say, councils with these different doctrines. And doctrines are, say, like the, the central important teachings of a particular religion. They're usually issued by the church, um, by religious bodies. Uh, they can be developed as well. And doctrines aren't always things that you must hold to in a particular religious tradition. Uh, you can have different doctrines, some that are essential and some that aren't. Uh, some... Um, uh, can have disagreements about how to understand the doctrine. Uh, so doctrine is kind of a system of understanding something about the divine, something about our relationship to the divine, or divine's relationship to the world. Now, there are essential doctrines, and these are called dogma. And dogma, say, in the Christian tradition, is say so the, the doctrine of the Trinity is a dogma. That's an essential doctrine. Uh, Jesus is um, a dual nature, uh, f uh, fully man, truly man, and truly God. That's a dogma for the Christian tradition. Now, people think about doctrines and dogmas, and they write about it, and they uh, try to, you know, make concepts clear and try to figure out the logic of these of the topics. And these people are individuals called theologians. A theologian then writes theology, which is the study of God. Theos means uh, God in Greek, and logos means word, reason, or count. Put it together, and you have the account of God, the study of God. There's different types of theology. So, for example, you have systematic, historical, and philosophical theology. Systematic theology is when you take, say, a word or a concept and you search everything that, say, one particular religious text says or a text says about uh, that idea. So you search for love in the Quran and you see what how it is represented in concepts that are expressed about it throughout all uh, the different contexts. Historical theology is the study of 
ancient concepts about God and how they've developed to what they are now in relation to those. Philosophical theology is uh, the study of uh, 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 the concepts of God the relate and the consistency of these concepts and the truth of them. And so philosophy um, of religion then it kind of includes uh, a lot of this, uh, a lot of theological thinking, but it also has um, a, a general uh, understanding of it, uh, understand, a branch too. So this would be like philosophy of religion in general would be things like uh, religious experiences, the nature of the divine, and like whether or not God exists. You know, these are uh, general questions about God and God's relation to, to the world. The problem is uh, kind of these kind of lead uh, to some confusions because, uh, you know, when you start talking like about, talking about God's existence, you start wondering, like, what do you mean by God? What is the divine? Why are we not using the word universe? Or what is the energies? And how does that relate to, uh, you know, my happiness or something? So the, the thing is that the, the, it's hard to answer any sort of uh, religious or philosophy or religion topic neutrally because it, it's a very difficult, you, you tend to come at it from some sort of religious, previous religious understanding. And that's why it's important to become educated in these topics because we're just individuals, right? We're just people coming from it from our own perspective unless you understand the perspectives. Others it may be very difficult to even understand what your own tradition talks about. So some of these, uh, some topics we'll be looking at will be ones that will be specific to traditions and some will just be more general. Um, like if there is divine divinity, what would it be? But it's important for us to understand first the data of philosophy of religion, which is the concepts of God. But we get those concepts and the concepts of God in relation to the universe through um, religious texts. We want to get into the brain of the authors of the religious texts to see what he meant uh, or what they meant. Uh, and then we take those concepts and we analyze them, not based on our ideas about what they mean, but on their own terms. What did they mean? And then we can systematize it, check for consistency, check for truth, argue against it. And what, and so, you know, see if their God could be something that is real or not. And so this is philosophy of religion. So in philosophy of religion, then what we're going to be doing is we're going to look at the data of religion, which initially is religious experience, but then we have these religious texts. We want to kind of understand how do you look at these religious texts? From that point, then we try to understand what did the authors mean and how did the, what did they understand it? And then you take your interpretation of what they meant, and then you say, well, what does this have to do, say, with a particular concept like creation? If the authors meant X, Y, and Z, uh, then what does that mean about the, the age of the universe or something like that? From there, then you can have a doctrine, right? As some sort of doctrine of creation. Um, and then you can um, then systematize that, think about that, or um, argue with other people about it, uh, check for consistency, check for uh, uh, validity of arguments and strength. Um, and then uh, you can develop uh, these concepts uh, um, through the tools of philosophy. And that's what we'll be doing in this class. And so we'll. We'll be looking at the science and religion conflict, the nature of the divine. Um, we'll be looking at arguments for and against God's existence. We'll be looking at particular the problem of evil. And we'll be also we'll be looking at some non-traditional views of the divine.